Um, my name is of Dixon Rex, and you're on the Rex TV, the Vuka podcast. So thank you for watching me. I I congratulate all um, the first time viewers. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you and thank you and thank you. So today we are going to look at something simple. We are going today. I want us to look at the ten principles. As you see, my you be can see it to my screen. And if at all you want this PowerPoint, I have it. You can check in the group description. You can download it very easily. You can download it. So I prepare this note so you can easily download it. So today we are going to look at the 10 principles one should follow. 2024. So I came up and I, I have been around, sitting around. I've come up with some of the principles that I thought that are more valued that one should maybe should look at. So these are the 10 principles that are taken that one should follow in this year 2023, 2024, sorry. So, first I would find principles. I will talk about principles first. Principles serve as guideline, guiding values that shape our behavior, decisions, and interaction with the world. Principles that are like guideline values that shape our behaviors, decisions, the way we, how do we treat ourselves and people, and what decisions we make when we are with people. So those are the what? The, the principles. And how do we interact with the world? How do we interact with people out there? How do we? So there yeah, are those specific principles that can, that can vary from person to a person. So, a person can have his or her own principles that is following that me I'm taking this route and when it comes to this I will decide this so they, are, so they sometimes they vary depending on a person to another person so but these are the more fundamental ones the most very widely valued principles so we're going to look them to look through them the first is integrity I'll start with integrity. Integrity, for this I'll say be honest and act with integrity in all your dealings. So what do you deal in? What do you do? Are you in construction? Are you in medicine? Are you in agriculture? Are you in business or in other thing, in other sector that you will be? Are you in media? How do you interact? How do you act? You should act with integrity, you should act honestly with people. If something has happened, stop say it directly the way it has happened. Although at some point they are a little bit challenging and difficult, but still we need to be, I would think and I would, to, to me, I would say we should be, integ we should act with integrity with other people. So. Another principle that I believe and you also agree with me is respect. Each and every one on this planet, on the world, we need to have respect for each other. For us to move with our only, for us to keep on our work, studies, leisure, of course even leisure. If you go out to the beach, you need to respect people who you do found. In case you don't, things may happen and... You may be drowned in the pool just because you misrespected someone but it's something that we need to do an exercise yeah it's something not so easy and sometimes you feel maybe at a point you're you're not seen you're undervalued but still you maybe you, you've seen you've met a congregation and the population you meet they are of another age bracket and maybe you expected some someone to be having to be under another bracket but still we need to have respect for each other for us to back it will be the same we shall also be getting respect back it's so uh, on both sides as we interact with people one person to another we all need respect back of course if i'm a let me say what if i'm a businessman um do construction i'll need to respect that young boy who is calling sand with a spade. If I'm into maybe watch, I'm into media or respect. I have to respect someone who is calling 
who is like, who is calling a camera maybe like for example my producer now i have to give respect to my producers because if i don't give respect to him or well, how uh, this this will not be of course this you you won't be able to receive this content like this you won't be able to receive such a good thing like like today we have it we have it even here so if i don't respect my producer still if there's no respect between me and each other and him of course all this work wouldn't move so respect is to treat others with treat others with respect regardless of differences value diversity uh, and appreciate the perspectives of others so regardless of the values and and the di values diversity but see we need to appreciate their perspectives depending on it and everything that on depending on every person that we are handling which need to have respect and the third principle is responsibility so we all have responsibility responsibility that we take we all have assignments we all have work that we we are meant to do maybe at a given at a specific period of time at a given working schedule so we need to be responsible and do it in that in that given period of time so if at all i'm not responsible maybe let, let me say with i'll give an example of my producer if my producer is cannot be able to keep and take responsibility of of that of this machine maybe let me say this mouse and tomorrow if i ask it and is not able to tell that he will leave it's here so of course it's not what is not responsible but we need to be responsible for this mouse to be available so that we can move on with our show so we all need to be responsible for what we do and it's the, we need to be responsible for the actions actions and decisions of course actions these are certain things that we do choose depending on them on the current situation so if the current situation is demanding me to to keep quiet of course i have to be responsible and give that to keep quiet and when you're being responsible also it call back me to come back to it to come back to the first two principles that we had done integrity and res and respect of course to be responsible you have to give that respect and have to have integrity in order to and then the fourth principle i'll go to my next slide the fourth principle is empath empath i won't talk much about it empathy is to seek understanding different viewpoints and support those in in need empathy is if at all is is a, 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 a task we need to understand we need to seek to understand not to just do things as the way we 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 think we need to first understand from a different point of view we need to understand each other so that we can work together we can work we can be responsible respect and have integrity so we need to know from each point of view why the, why this is why is this happening and we, why is this happening so that we can move together and which our goes and then another principle is continuous improvement so with continuous improvement is strive for personal growth and development embarrassing a mindset of continuous learning and improvement so with here now as i'm doing this podcast of course i'm also learning really i'm also learning with you so continuous improvement comes with learning with this i'm also learning from the comment section that you the comments that you're dropping here i'll be also be i'll be also able to learn maybe you've commented about something it will bring me my it will cause my that attention to go and to make research about it so i need to have that continuous improvement growth personal growth personal growth come with a lot of things it of course will come with having respect if you don't have respect of course you won't have personal growth because with respect you come to and interact with these other some of the people you don't have integrity if you're not integ integrity of course you don't have that personal growth and then another thing is adaptability 
adaptability this is to be open to change and adopt different situations embarrass flexibility and resilience in face of challenges adaptability comes with if at all this in right now in the world we are in the world of technology we are in the world of internet artificial intelligence so with now there are so many things that I can do with artificial intelligence. If I'm not, if, if I'm not able to adopt with the technology, so I may be sometimes I may be left behind. Like now, if my producer not be cannot be able to adopt to this kind of way use of this machine, so of course I'll I'll be left behind. But we need to some of the principles that we need to put. Our next principle is gratitude. Practice gratitude and appreciate for the people and the things in your life. I acknowledge and thank you for what you have. Gratitude is like appreciating what you have. If you have something, you have achieved an achievement, you maybe you've done with that degree, you've done with that certificate, all those milestones. You have to be appreciative and be thankful for those. Acknowledge. Be thankful for all those things that you have reached all. So and then the next is balance. Balance is also one of the principles that should follow. Sink a balanced life, prioritize your well-being, both physical and mental, while also imagining responsibilities and commitments. Balance, it comes with a lot of things. Balance, if it's time for work, you work. If it's time for exercising, exercising because you know exercising good for our mental health, well being for the physical body, you need to also have those time. That time is not always good for you to always be in office doing being so corporate. I'll call it corporate, being so casual. You need also to have those time you, you make those hundred run exercise, you make that work, you you make that you go and do that exercise on the beach if it's to swim, go and swim if it's to go and just with people so that you refresh your mind for the next day. Then the, the other thing is purpose. The other thing is purpose. Purpose, live with purpose and meaning. Align your actions with your values and aspirations. Is another point, another thing is to have a purpose. So what's your purpose in life? Oh no, we all have different purposes in life. God created us with so many things that we need to put. There are so many things that we need to do to fulfill His command, to, so that His name may be, may should be glorified on this planet as. So what's your purpose? I'll go deep in. I'll go deep into that the next time. The next totally, I'll, I'll come with my. I'll do. I'll do I'll do deep into I'll dig deep into that purpose. So you should know your purpose and then your actions with all your values. You should when you know your purpose, you align all your action. What you do should be in line of all those values so that you fulfill your purpose. And then the next thing is kindness. Oh wow, wow. Kindness that this is the most thing that you all need. If in case they design a an a reaction. You need to first be calm. Act kindness. I act kindness. You don't need also to be to come at high level. No, who there's there's a level that you need to be so that you control the situation. Practice kindness and generosity. Small acts of, of kindness can make a significant difference in someone's day. So if at all you're not kind in a day, you hold you you ever speak at the top of your voice you reply the top of your voice it's not something good i should practice this year you should practice kindness at least be at your low way to, to reply way to reply before you reply first think and act then after you reply and then i think that's for today those are the principles so these principles can serve as foundation for ethical behavior, personal growth, and building 
meaningful connection with others. However, principles are deeply personal and can vary based on cultural, religious, or individual benefits. Individual beliefs. It's essential to reflect on what matters most to you and shape your principles accordingly. Yes, these principles, be, m m m however, deeply are personal and can are personal and can vary on courage. If you had courage, religious and individual benefits, they they are good for personal growth, building meaningful and connection. If at all you practice kindness, respect, respect, you respect people. Of course, many people will refer you that would refer to other people. You're building what connection and you're having a personal growth with other people. They will, you will be recommended because of your kindness, your integrity, your yeah, all all of those things that we have looked about. You'll be you you you'll be referred if you you practice the all those things so thank you for watching me so if you want to be part of this broadcast or anything like this of this kind if something is or go to our social media platform give us a message yeah if you appreciate what you what we are doing is something is something is it you can do this our social media channels rex tv yugi we believe in the greatness of limit i remain dexon rex Thank you for watching me.